Windows 10, reduce input lag tweaks. What is ISLC? What does it do? Questions? I've got some answers. Let's go through this. This is Dave from The Dave Stuff. Today we're gonna to go through ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. What does it do? Well, it's an app that monitors and clears the memory standby list and it helps improve or reduce stuttering in games using a later version of Windows 10, specifically the creator update, which I believe is 1809 or 1903 and later. So it sounds like, okay, this is gonna help me, right? Yes, it'll help you, especially if you're gaming. So first, go on Google or go on your web browser Go to ISLC or type ISLC. Go to the first link, should be this one. Okay. And this is the latest version right now. 1.0.2.2 released. So it's been out for some time. It's been out for a year and a half for sure and I found it very helpful. So there's a lot of changes through here and scroll all the way down until you go to the official download. We're gonna go through this in a minute. So click on official download and then you're gonna save it. Click on it and I'm going to put this on my C drive and I'm gonna put it in a folder called IS. Actually, I'm gonna put this on C drive because I think it creates a folder anyway. So I'm gonna to go to extract and I'm gonna to go to this PC, go to C, and then it's right here, ISLC version 1.0.2.2. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the README. Yes, we're gonna read the freaking manual. So, these are options that you can do. You don't need to worry about those, but this is important. This command is important. Now. Again, as it states, you need to run with admin privileges. So you need to have full control of your system. Now, some of this is true, some of this is not. So we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna right click on here. We're just gonna go to PowerShell and then we're gonna choose yes. And then we're just gonna paste this in, press enter. And you're gonna get that message unable to rebuild performance counter. That's why it says that. Go to the second time. And it's rebuilt the performance counter. That's good. So we're good. Now, we're gonna close this. And that's basically it. We don't need to disable this unless you want to. This is an advanced setting, which I've never experimented. Okay. Now we're gonna double click on this. And then yes. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I've got 65 gigs of RAM. Yes, most people don't have 65 gigs of RAM or 64 gigs of RAM on their systems. So you probably have 32, 16, maybe even eight. Okay, probably eight or 16 is what most of you guys have. And what this basically does is that when you're copying files over, this thing's gonna build up and build up and eventually it's gonna chew your memory up and then it's gonna go to your hard drive and start paging off that and start writing off that. And it's gonna eventually build up and build up and then eventually it's just gonna choke. That's generally what happens. So there's a couple things that we're gonna do here. First, click on start ISLC minimize and auto start monitoring. The second is we're gonna launch ISLC on user logon. So what this basically does is that when your system boots up, it's going to run this, okay? So first, this is a memory performance type thing. So it's going to help that piece. So essentially what happens is that when it gets close to your max limit, then it's going to flush your memory so that all this, memory frees up and then it's available again. Now, for those who want to tinker with this, which 
I actually recommend. You're going to want to change this value here. So likely your system's going to say like 15 milliseconds, which is additional latency. For those you game, you know, it's like, hey, I've got an extra 15 milliseconds of latency. It's like night and day. So what you're going to do is you're going to do this and you're going to set this to the lowest value possible. So we're going to change this and we're going to put in 0.5. And I check enable custom timer resolution only for this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit start. And by the way, you're not going to change these settings here. The ISLC pulling rate, it's just a refresh rate. It's fine. Hit start. So now it's going to bring this down to the lowest value possible. And yeah, it's 0 0.4991 on my system. You may get 0.5, you may get 0.5013 or something like that. The point is, is that it's no longer 15 milliseconds. And you should be noticing this with a, your system response time, especially in your gaming, and it'll feel a lot faster. So minimize this, and it's gonna be down here in your system tray, and that's basically it. Now you may need to reboot now, but before, you, before you're done, you may need to reboot. Um, you know, just make sure prior to rebooting, you have everything saved and so forth, and then you will be able to reboot. But before we reboot, let me know in the comments if this makes sense to you. Let me know, has this helped you? Do you feel a better performance by going through this? Or do you feel the same thing? Does it just seem like the same, not really much difference? Okay. Now, if you like this video, give me a like. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And tune in for more of these videos. We're going to keep on going and we're going to help as many people as possible get better performers. Share, like, you know, with your, with your communities. We're going to help people get better gaming performance, better system performance. Okay? Until next time, take care. Be well.